Welcome to the 20th edition of the Tempo Storm Shadowverse Meta Snapshot. As we enter into a new decade, so does our favorite anime card game with the release of the Eternal Awakening expansion. This expansion introduces the Skybound art mechanic, which is essentially Union Burst rebranded. Unfortunately, the current meta is too fast for the mechanic to really play a critical role, as the accumulation of evolves is necessary to bring those effects online sooner. Some effects, such as ATAS, can be archetype-defining and may see more usage in the future. His Xenos cards, on the other hand, are pretty weak at the moment, with the exception of Xeno Sagittarius being a one-off in a cell forest. One interesting property of this expansion is the absence of a pre-release period. In fact, the bronze and silver cards of this expansion were not revealed until right before the release of the expansion. This created a period of time where the meta is relatively underdeveloped. Before we check out the new decks introduced in Eternal Awakening, remember to like and subscribe to our Tempo Strategy YouTube channel for the latest decks and strategy content. While working on Razia's reveal, we knew how potent she can be, but we only ended up giving her a modest B rating. It turns out that when you put her on a bike alongside Storm followers, an efficient buff card, some ramp, and board clears, the deck ends up being extremely powerful. Bike Dragon is the undisputed tier 1 king in this meta snapshot, with its wide range of favorable matchups. A Cell Forest is a deck that technically existed in the previous expansion, but the introduction of Walder Forest Ranger complemented the existing fairy flowering and turned the deck into a complete completely different beast. Walder is not only easily acquired through its invocation effect, its enhance converts the large amounts of accelerate effects in the deck into direct storm damage, often ending games by turn 6 or 7. The flexibility of this deck allows this deck to play favorably into every commonly played deck in the meta, with the exception of a slight disadvantage against Bike Dragon. With the balance changes and constant meta shifts, Grimmery Shadow went through a roller coaster ride in the Storm Over Rival expansion. Undead Parade and Psychopomp Tour Guide are are great additions to the deck, both of which are very good tools to invoke an early Gremory Death Teller. While the deck is vulnerable against both Bike Dragon and a Cell Forest, it has comparable if not better win rates against the rest of the meta when compared with the mentioned decks. Aggro Shadow is one of the strongest decks towards the end of Storm Over Rival, and it continues to be strong in Eternal Awakening. With the rotation of Verdant Conflict, Aggro Shadow lost Helio, Sacrosanct Spirit, but Skullfish proved to be a worthy replacement. It is the fastest top tier laddering deck at the moment moment, and it can even finish off Bike Dragon players before they reach their mid-game power spike. If you add up every healing card Havencraft has access to in Eternal Awakening, you are likely going to end up with something very close to Sanctuary Haven. While the rotation of Verdant Conflict removed the Natara Justine portion of the deck, this allows players to throw in more healing cards in their place. In a meta where decks such as Bike Dragon and Aggro Shadow thrive, Sanctuary Haven is able to take them head-on through the power of healing. Being the slowest deck in the meta, however, does make the deck highly susceptible acceptable to decks such as Gremory Shadow and OTK Dragon, both of which can easily finish off the Havencraft player before Ra grinds down the opponent. Bike Dragon, with its wide range of favorable matchups, is the recommended deck for laddering. It is not too difficult to learn how to ride a bike in Shadowverse, and their games play out at a decent pace. Aggro Shadow, while still being somewhat unfavored against a range of matchups, is still a good pick for laddering due to its sheer speed and its favorable matchup against Bike Dragon. As an aggro deck, you can easily turn a brick in your opponent's hand into yet another 100 ladder points. For those looking for more complexity than simply hitting face, a Cell Forest is a good pick for laddering, with a range of positive matchups that rivals Bike Dragon. If your sole intention is to seek revenge on players trying to climb the ladder with aggro decks, then consider Sanctuary Haven, as the wide range of defensive tools and healing gives you favorable matchups against the two common aggro decks, but be warned that the grin on your face will disappear as soon as you get matched up against non-aggro decks. The introduction of Eternal Awakening cards ended up creating one of the most most aggressive metas in recent Shadowverse history. No longer do our casters have to come up with witty things to say during 25-minute Sanctuary Haven mirrors. Sometimes the matches are over before the casters' chairs can match their body temperature. We are still pretty early in the meta, and aggressive decks generally perform better at the beginning. As slower decks become more refined, there is always the possibility the meta may slow down. In particular, keep an eye on potential refinements of Sanctuary Haven and Carl Rune. Even established decks like Gremory Shadow can see further adjustments as the meta evolves over over time. If the usage and win rate of Bike Dragon remains high, there is a fair chance the deck may end up getting nerfed, perhaps through Dragon Rearing or Razia. A Cell Forest may potentially become the new top tier deck thanks to its positive matchups against almost every common deck, so there is a chance that it may get affected as well. Should balance changes be announced, expect them after the second Rage Online qualifiers in Japan on the 24th. As we approach the 2021 Shadowverse open season starting in the first week of February, keep an eye out for our regular Shadowverse content on the Tempo Storm website. 
website. A range of in-depth deck guides will be available in the coming weeks to help you become a better Shadowverse player. Tune in next month for an updated meta snapshot of the Eternal Awakening expansion. Mm -hmm.